in light of a 2% budget cap, how important are shared services? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Mayor Colleen Marr of the Borough of Fanwood. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Now that you are working under a 2% budget cap and every municipality across the state is doing just that, how important do shared services become? I think that shared services always had its place and in the discussions with budgets, but in the last two years, you know, with the 2% budget cap, it becomes more critical to be more aggressive. And for us in Fanwood, really look at how we deliver every single service to our residents. And shared services becomes the vehicle of how we can actually promote that good government, but just do it in a different way. Does the conversation go from shared services to potentially consolidation when you have a small community like yours? Um, I think that because of people's um, angst and anger and frustration over property taxes in general and the size of government or too many layers of government, consolidation is always something that comes up. In Fanwood, we have chosen not to go the consolidation route. We have chosen to be more aggressive with shared services, starting with us being the first municipality in Union County to outsource our dispatching, our emergency dispatching to the County of Union with great financial results for us. Let's talk about some of the specifics when it comes to shared services. There are a variety of different ways where you can share services. Sure. Everything from purchasing all the way up to your police department. Sure. Let's get into some of the things that you've considered. Uh, one, as you mentioned, dispatch. That was the, the first thing that you tried. But let's talk a little bit about courts. Where do sure. they stand now? We are right now looking very seriously at the courts, the construction, and the police department with our neighbor in Scotch Plains. And the two towns are at the table, and we've actually brought in representatives of the court systems to sit down with us and talk to us about the pros and the cons and the different types of sharing that two municipalities can do. And then also the police department. I think the good news for myself and Fanwood is I have a, a good chief of police in Chief Trigo who understands how we can deliver police services without compromising safety. So he's at the table with us as we're having this conversation. And that's an important point because there's always the concern, especially when it comes to a sensitive issue like public safety and police, that that won't be compromised when you come to the idea of shared services. Um, I have found myself having to tell people that you know public safety is never for sale. What is on the table is how can we deliver that service without compromising response time, without compromising any quality of life issues that we have that make Fanwood so special, but how can we deliver that to you and do it in a more cost-effective, efficient way? Because I believe that we could do that. How do you benefit from shared services? Well, first of all, the two things that we always have to keep in mind is, will it save us money? and will services remain at the same or will they improve? And so that's where we are right now in the discussions. We also can look at when you combine services, you could actually probably get more services that you don't necessarily have. Can the courts actually put more court sessions in? Can the construction office actually be open more than it is now? You know, in the police departments, does a merged police department offer benefits of a larger police department to a smaller community that actually increases the level maybe of some more community police? that we don't currently have. Now, you mentioned the idea of dispatch going mm -hmm. to the county. Does it often make sense to look to the county, to look to a bigger branch of government, or does it make sense to look to a neighboring town when it comes to shared services? The nice thing about in Fanwood is, is that we are open to really having discussions with anyone. So we are talking with the county, and they have been very good partners as far as we're concerned in Fanwood being the first one, and we're saving probably about $250,000 over the life of our contract with the County of Union. But we're also looking to our neighbors to the left and to the right of us to see what they're doing and if we can actually partner with them. So for us, every uh, government agency is on the table to try to save our taxpayers money, and it's going to pay off. Thanks so much. Thank you. We've been talking with Mayor Colleen Marr of the Borough of Fanwood. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.